Amazon Elastic Container Registry, or ECR, is an AWS Managed Container Image Registry service that is secure, scalable, and reliable. Hello, my name is Alex. I am a senior software engineer specializing in AWS development. In this video, we will talk about AWS ECR. We will cover what AWS Elastic Container Registry is. We're going to look at the components and key features. We're going to see how AWS ECR works and what other AWS services it integrates with out of the box. And of course, we're going to have a demo. So what is AWS Elastic Container Registry? AWS ECR is a fully managed container registry for Docker compatible images, Open Container Initiative or OCI images and OCI compatible artifacts. It enables developers to store, manage and deploy container images. It integrates with Amazon Elastic Container Service, ECS, Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service, EKS, and AWS Lambda. Let's look at the components of AWS ECR. First, we have registry. An Amazon ECR private registry is provided to each AWS account. You can create one or more repositories in your registry and store images. Next, we have authorization token. Your client must authenticate to an Amazon ECR private registry as an AWS user before it can push and pull images. There is also repository. An Amazon ECR repository contains your Docker images, open container initiative, OCI images, and OCI compatible artifacts. There is also repository policy, so you can control access to your repositories and the contents within them with repository policies. And finally, there is image, you can push and pull container images to your repositories. You can use these images locally on your development system, or you can use them in Amazon ECS tasks definition and Amazon EKS pod specifications. Now that you know key components of AWS ECR, let's take a look of, at its key features. So the first feature is that it's fully managed and scalable. So you don't need to manage infrastructure that automatically scales with your need. It is highly available and durable. It ensures that your container images are always available. Next, we have image scanning. So it helps in identifying software vulnerabilities in your container images. We also have cross-region and cross-account replication, so you can have your images where you need them. There is also pull-through cache. It provides a way to cache repositories in an upstream registry in your private Amazon ECR registry. Finally, we have lifecycle policies. Uh, you can manage the lifecycle of images to optimize storage costs. Now let's take a look at how AWS ECR works, and it's pretty straightforward. You're going to create a repository, and in this repository, you're going to store Docker images, in, and you can have a private or public repository, and in the demo, we're going to look at a private repository. You can push images to the repository. You're going to use Docker CLI to push images to your ECR repository. But before using Docker CLI, you actually need to authenticate, and we will go over that process as well. Then you pull images. You can deploy images directly from ECR to ECS, EKS, or other container orchestration services. And finally, you can manage images by using lifecycle policies to automate image cleanup. And since storing your images on ECR is not exactly free, this image cleanup feature can come pretty handy. And speaking of uh, ECR pricing, let's jump into our next slide. And we're going to look at uh, what it includes, and it includes storage costs. Uh, you pay only for the amount of storage used by your images. You pay for data transfer, uh, the costs for data transfer to and from the registry. Uh, there is also a free tier, and the free tier includes 500 megabytes of storage per month for one year under AWS free tier. As I mentioned in about a slide ago, you can actually cut down on your storage costs by using lifecycle hooks. And lifecycle hooks are basically lifecycle policies. They define the rules for automatic cleanup of old images. And it's really good for cost optimization. It removes unused images and reduces your cost storage. And for example, uh, you can set a policy to keep only the last 10 versions of an image. Now let's take a look at with which services ECR integrates out of the box. And we, of course, have Amazon ECS and EKS. 
as a seamless deployment of container images. It also integrates with a AWS code pipeline. You can automate the CI CD pipeline with ECR as the source. And when you do the CI CD in the code pipeline, you usually use um, the images provided by AWS to build your application, but you can also use your own images and you can pull them from the ECR. And finally, we have AWS Lambda. You can deploy containerized functions directly from ECR. And in fact, this is my go-to uh, way of configuring Lambda. I usually deploy Lambda using Docker container. All right, now let's jump into the demo. But before we do that, if you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to our channel to help YouTube recommend it to more viewers. In order to demo ECR, I need a Dockerized application. I can go ahead and show off and Dockerize Hello World application, but I'm going to be uh, less cool and show you something a little more complex than the Hello World. Right here we have a Remix Indie stack. As you can see, it uses Docker but it also have a fly deployment. We won't care about that. We'll just use that Docker to deploy on AWS. It also has a production ready SQLite database, although it has limitations, it will do for our deployment. It, besides that, it has some other cool stuff so you can check it on your own time. So what you need to do, you can just need to copy this line, npx create remix at latest, and you use the template. Let's go ahead and do just that and get this app locally. Let's switch to VS Code. I already have this app right here. We just need to make a couple of changes. First, we're gonna go into Docker file and you can see this is quite an extensive Docker file. Um, it uses a couple of stages. And what we need to do is scroll down to the port right here. It uses 8080, we're just gonna change it to 80. So it's gonna be just easier for us not to tag 8080 to the IP address. Also, the database URL is already defined right here. So we don't need to define it in environment variables when we're going to be deploying it on ECS. Let's go ahead and save it. Another change that we're going to make is in app folder, we have session.server.ts file. And this is file defines the session storage that we're going to use because we're going to be logging into the application. And uh, when it's in production, it uses secure cookie. Uh, which means we need to use HTTPS. However, we're going to be using HTTP, so we need to comment out this line. Let's go ahead and save this as well. Now our Remix Indie Stack demo application is ready to get pushed to ECR and deployed on ECS. Let's switch to AWS console and let's go ahead and search for ECR and click on Elastic Container Registry. Uh, here on the left hand side we'll expand and you can see ECR has private registry and public registry. We're going to be looking at a private registry. You can click on the repositories and then you can see I don't have any repositories here. Let's go actually take a look at the settings. Uh, this where you can define permissions. You can have this pull through cache right here. You can do replication into different regions. Uh, you have repository creation templates and at last we have the scanning right here. When you push your images you can scan them for securities and it is recommended that you do that. And if we click on here uh, we have scanning configuration. The basic scanning is basically cheap and then you have an enhanced scanning. If you select that uh, you'll have to pay a little bit more. Let's go to repositories and click create repository. We're going to select private repository and we can call our repository Remix Indie Stack. All right. Uh, tag immutability we keep is disabled. If you enable it, you won't be able to push images with the same tag. And I usually have it enabled because my tags are the git hashes so each each deploy each image you know have a separate git hash so i can kind of roll back easily uh, image scanning settings here you can also enable it on the scan on push and as you can see scan on push configuration at the repository level is deprecated in favor of the registry level scan filters that i showed you earlier and then you also have an encryption settings right here and for now we're going to keep it disabled Let's go ahead and click on the Create Repository, and the repository is created. Now let's 
click into Remix Indie Stack repository, and then you can see view push commands. It's very helpful. Here it gives you the commands that you need to do to push your Docker image to the repository that we created. So first command is actually uh, prompts you to use AWS CLI to log in into the repository. And then after that, you're going to be using Docker CLI to build, tag, and push your image. So let's go exactly just that. Let's uh, copy these commands one by one and put them in our uh, CLI in the VS Code. So on the VS Code side, let's go ahead, first of all, log in. And our login is successful. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, do Docker build. It will take a little while. And finally, the Docker is built, so let's go ahead and clear and tag our Docker image. After Docker image is tagged, we can go ahead and push it to the repository. This will take a little while, uh, so I'm going to pause the video. And our image got pushed to the repository. Let's go switch to AWS console and check it out. Yeah, let's click on this refresh button and now we can see the image. Let's go ahead and copy this image URI. So the easiest way to deploy the image will be on the ECS. So let's type ECS and click on Elastic Container Service. First, we need to create a cluster. Let's click on Create Cluster and give this cluster a name. Uh, we're going to call it uh, Remix Indie Stack. Uh, we're going to choose as an infrastructure as a Fargate serverless, so we don't have to deal with the EC2 instances, and we're going to click Create. It's going to take AWS a little bit to create and configure a cluster for us, so let's just wait. And after a little bit, the cluster is created. Now we need to go to Task Definitions and define a task. Let's go ahead and create new task definition. So we have a task definition family. And we can type in again uh, remix in the stack. And the infrastructure requirements we again select Fargate. Uh, right here we have a task size, right? It's a vCPU and memory, and that's how we're going to get charged, right? So to be on the cheapest side here, we're going to select the minimum CPU and the minimum memory, which it will do for our demo app. So next we leave task role and task execution role the same. And now we have a container where we can call it uh, remix in the stack container. And we're going to paste the image URI that we copied. Next we have a container port. We're going to leave it as 80 here. That's what we changed in a Docker file and port name we can call it uh, port 80. Resource allocation limits will leave the same. And here we have environment variables section. And let's go ahead and add environment variable that we will need for our application to run. Let's go ahead and switch to VS Code. And we're going to go into .env file. And we have two environment variables, the database URL. Um, so database URL is already in a Docker file. And all we need is to put the session secret. Let's go ahead and put it in the AWS environment variables container. So we're going to put the name of the environment variable as the key and then the value of the secret. Now we're going to scroll down. We leave the logs as is and the storage as is and we'll just click create. And the test definition is created. Let's go ahead and click on the deploy. So to deploy that we'll just need to create a service. Let's click Create Service. It already puts it into existing Remix Indie Stack cluster. Capacity provider is selected as a far gate for us. On a deployment configuration, we're going to deploy it as a service. And we need to put a service name, so we can call it Remix Indie Stack Service. We're going to leave everything else the same. Uh, we'll put desired task as one. 
we're not going to touch any service connect or service discovery however on the networking we're going to make sure it's deployed in the vpc and you can choose the subnets and by default it selects all the subnets which we don't care much and then uh, we can also see that it uh, checks to use existing security group and it uses the default security group however uh, we know that there is one security group that have a web access demo we're going to select that because this security group allows access on the port 80 into the application and we're also going to make sure the uh, service is assigned a public ip address now let's go ahead and hit create and after a little while our service is going to get deployed so let's just wait for it for a little bit we can click refresh here and we can see that our last deployment in progress we need to wait till it is successful and our deployment got completed so let's go to the tasks and we can click on a task that is running and right here we can find a public ip address so we can go ahead and click open address and since you know the security group allows the traffic on a port 80 uh, we can see our application running how cool is that so let's go ahead and click sign up and we'll put the email address as alex at alex.com and password we'll just type password and we can hit create account and the account is created so let's go ahead and view notes for alex obviously there is no notes but since we have sqlite database we can also create notes right we can put my first note and we'll just put body this is my first note and click save right and also you see this application is pretty functional you can log out and uh, you can see it running here and this is how you can create a docker image push it to the ecr and then deploy it to the ecs when deploying to ECS, we mostly skimmed through all the ECS settings, but if you would like to dive deeper, please check out this video on ECS.